Hey guys, this is Ganesh. Welcome back to Ganesh Jada Automation Studio. About the how to create dynamic file names for screenshot in a Selenium web driver. Like you might observe, whenever we are taking the screenshot, uh, uh, whenever we are taking the screenshot in a Selenium web driver, that time our existing file will override. So how basically we can overcome those things? Okay. So let me write down like this is my basic code we have. So what exactly I'm trying to do? Let me write down the basic code for taking the, the screenshot. What exactly I'm trying to do guys, let me, I'm just simple use the file class over here. The object basically I'm going to create now the, uh, so once this is done, you can see this is an object basically I created and uh, SRC is equal to, uh, now uh, we have a take a screenshot interface and with the help of that interface, we can take a screenshot. So this is an inbuilt functionality uh, available in a Selenium. So what exactly I'm trying to do guys, simple, I'm just using take a screenshot interface over here. This is the interface that is why we need to perform the downcasting and dot get the screenshot as output as a file we have to take. Okay, once this is done, then we are going to use the destination. Okay, so what I'm writing down the destination over here, file and then destination I'm going to use is equal to what exactly we are going to do guys, new file. This is a file basically I'm going to define and I'm going to define what guys, my existing file location over here. So what is my existing file location? Suppose uh, we have a, uh, this uh, in a E drive, I actually defined the thing here. You can see in a screenshot and you can see guys, this is an existing file we have and this file contain the screenshot of the Amazon.in. So I'm just uh, uh, copying the path of this file and uh, let me copy the path of this file and I'm just pasting this path where guys here. Okay, once I'm pasting the file path over here, after that I'm providing the underscore over here. Plus, I'm going to provide a symbol because we need to generate the name as a dynamically. Okay, so I'm, j I'm just need to write down the things over here. But, but, but before that, how to generate? So basically, we can generate the particular file name dynamically based on the name. Whatever date we have, whatever timestamp we have, based on that, we, can, we, are, we are going to generate the thing. So what exactly I'm trying to do guys, I am just creating the new name, new method over here, which is named as a public, okay, just a minute, public uh, string, the return type of that method we are keeping as a string basically because uh, we are returning the string over there, <clears throat> okay, public string and the method name, pro time stamp, this is the method name I'm giving over here, that's it, okay, when this is done, now, uh, now this method we are defining the static because we don't need to create an object. Okay, once this is done, I'm just using the return statement over here, new, and we have a class, Java class, we have simple, simple, uh, simple date format, simple date format. This is a class we have, and in that class file, uh, so this is a class we have to use, and in this class, we have to pass the thing. Now, what thing we have to pass? Suppose I'm passing year why uh, why 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 so this is year we have to pass hyphen mm month we have to pass hyphen date we have to pass and then space we have to use then then our hyphen mm hyphen ss this is format basically I'm going to pass and once this is done dot format method we have to use once I'm using this format method I'm just passing the new object over here which is named as a date object. So this is how the method we created. Once we are done with this method, we are going to call this method over here, guys. Here, after uh, so here we are. I'm going to call this method, which is named as a timestamp method. Once I call this method, plus symbol I'm going to use. What symbol I'm going to use, guys? Plus symbol I have to use because we need to perform the concatenation. And in in double quote, this is the PNG format. So let me remove dot PNG format from here, and I'm just need to pass the dot PNG format here. So my file will be generated automatically. Now, once this is done, this is how the source and destinations will be defined. Now we need to copy the file from uh, to this location, like source. We need to take a screenshot and we need to paste the file on this location. So how to do this? So we have a file utils class and based on that file util class, we can copy the thing. So for that, what we have to do guys, we need to, we need to add the separate dependency for that. What dependency we have to add guys? Separate dependency we are going to add over there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just simply going to search the Maven repository and I'm, I just need to search what guys Apache, okay, uh, <laughs> Apache commons, this, this a, a, API, okay, no. So let me write down org dot Apache dot commons, okay. This is a file basically I'm going to search guys. 
and once this is searched you can see if i'm scrolling down so you have to take up this this file this this dependency we have to take up common io prop uh, this this dependency you have to take up so i'm just going inside okay it's just okay i'm going to inside this dependency and you can see guys i'm just going to copy this dependency this dependency you must need to add in a pom.xml file okay so based on that you can able to add the code so i'm just going to add the code over here so let me open the pom.xml file and i'm just adding my dependency over here once i'm adding the dependency i need to import that dependency so this pom.xml file i just need to load over here once i'm once i'm done with the loading what we have to do guys the file utils class this apache.common.io this uh, this this file we have to select and we have to use the copy file this method we have to use and in this file just we have to use src src comma destination d whatever uh, destinations we created this we have to use and you have to handle the exception over there that's it to the method signature you have to handle the exception when this is done the the code is completed guys so what we have to do now simple i'm going to run my program and you can see guys what exactly happened our new file is going to generate and with a screenshot which is name as a facebook so our existing file is not going to generate now let me uh, let me uh, refresh you can see guys this is how the new file is generated with and you can see this is a uh, path this is a date we have and with within time now again if i'm going to run the another file if i'm going to change the another url suppose i'm changing the url over here uh, like google okay and again i'm going to run my program you can see guys what exactly happened Yeah, you can see this is a Google file basically generated over. So every time basically we can generate a new file over here. This is how basically we can generate the runtime files, uh, different different file name with uh, while taking the screenshot in a Selenium web driver. That's it. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching this. Video.